Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another character creation tutorial. The last one I did was how to create an Oblivion Battle Mage, and that got over 1,000 views, so I decided to make another one of these. So this is actually how to make a boxer in Oblivion, and hand-to-hand -hand combat is one of those skills that it's just not used very often, mainly because it's kind of weak sometimes, but I'm here to tell you how to make the best possible boxer that you can make. So starting off, we have the skills, right? Now this is for people who plan on just playing the game, you know, not like maximum level stats and everything, right? This is just people that play the game casually. But you're gonna wanna put yourself onto a combat focus because hand-to-hand -hand is weak, right? You can hit it as fast as possible, but it is weak. And then um, for your birth sign, I call it the star sign because star sign sounds cooler. For your star sign, you're going to pick the warrior because you're going to need the strength for punching and endurance for health. For your two skills, you're going to do endurance and speed. Now, speed is one that's kind of weird. When you're boxing, since you hit fast enough, you can come in and punch someone and then back off of them or run away and then come in with a couple more punches and back off, all right? So, that's pretty simple. That's our overall kind of deal we got with our, with our stats that aren't skills. Let's go to the skills. First one is obvious. Hand-to-hand. -hand. You're going to need that because you got to punch people. Acrobatics. Now, acrobatics, the only reason you're going to want this is because you need to be able to jump up to places to maybe get some heals going. Or you can be able to dodge because in Oblivion, if you hit 50 acrobatics... You get a dodge ability, and you don't have to sneak, you just have to block. The next skill you need is Destruction. This is the only magic skill you're going to need, so you don't need to focus on magic too much. But the Destruction is going to use Disintegrate Armor or Disintegrate Weapon. Preferably Weapon, if you can. Um, these are just so the opponent you're fighting, you know, loses some of their, potentially breaks their weapon or armor. That's pretty simple. Armor, because you're also going to be having heavy armor, which is your fifth skill. And you need to be able to repair your heavy armor. Now, even though heavy armor is heavy, if you master it, you aren't weighed down by it. And you also aren't slowed down by heavy armor. So that makes it so you can take a lot of hits, basically, when you're punching someone. If you want to go the light armor route and maybe train up your heavy armor through skills, you know... That's a viable option, too. That's probably the one you should do, where you just kind of have light armor until your heavy armor's buffed enough. But the next skill is sneak. Sneak is basically so you can sneak around and punch people. I mean, like, that's one... Sneak is one where it's kind of subjective, in my opinion, whether you put in sneak or alchemy. Because both of them require you to actively do them, but they're very passive skills. Same with athletics. You don't want to put athletics in because you leveled up. But really, this is your choice of sneak or alchemy. Now the last one you're going to use is restoration. The reason why you use restoration is because you have to heal. So it's, the destruction is the only magic spell for combat, but restoration is more so you can heal yourself really and you know cure diseases and all that stuff. Cure a paralyze especially. Um, paralyzes suck, but you can also upgrade yourself so you resist things with with um, restoration and restore fatigue if you need that extra fatigue. So really, you, that's your skill set. Is you got hand hand acrobatics, destruction, armor, heavy armor, sneak, and restoration. Destruction more so focus with destruction because if something if if you can't disintegrate someone's armor, if you are at that point where you can disintegrate their armor or weapon. You probably also can have a combat spell and later on kind of turn yourself into a battle mage-ish kind of boxer, you know, because you do have that spell slot. You don't want to waste your magic. When I build these, when I build characters, I want to make sure that I also use magic just because it's kind of a wasted stat if you don't otherwise. Now, some of the things you need to look out for is definitely guys with range and guys with weapons that knock you down because you can't block. You need to upgrade your acrobatics as fast as possible before you start to get to those guys that can knock you down with sword strikes and stuff. Granted, 
Hand to Hand also has these moves, so you can hit the, the dudes with the big swords and big axes and stuff. Hand to Hand, you can hit them faster, right? So you can just pop, right? That's pretty simple. But you can also disarm with um, your your um, hand to hand. God, I can't say hand to hand right. But you can disarm people and, and of course, you know, knock them down. So if someone does have a weapon, you can disarm them. If your disarms don't work, that's where the burning of weapons comes in. But anyone with a weapon longer than a dagger or a short sword is gonna be a problem to you because they're gonna get that first strike on you because you have to get in really freaking close to them. And I did not mention this, but hand to hand also damages someone's fatigue. So it does kind of balances you out with, um, you know, you can damage their fatigue if you wanted, so they don't do as much damage to you, but you still wanna wear that heavy armor just in case they have a really good weapon. So yeah, just like with a melee character, you want to look out for people with range. But, because your character is very fast, you know, if you didn't want to pick the warrior, if you're not that, you know, you don't really want to use the warrior, go ahead and pick the steed star sign. Make your character super fast so they can rush in and punch people. But, really your athletics and speed are going to go up, and, you know, if you're training up, some of your other skills, they're going to go up too, and your, your speed will, will go up. You also got your armor enchantments that you can really kind of fill in the gaps, and with restoration, you can fortify speed too if you need to. Some little tips to use with a boxer is try to be fast and dodge attacks. Now, it's really hard to dodge in Oblivion, so you're going to have to get really good at dodging, but do dodge attacks. It's very important that you do that. That way you don't get hit so much and since you're not really carrying a big weapon around, you get to move faster than normal. Also, disintegrate weapon or armor. If you can't disarm, but you can disintegrate, go ahead and do that. That's really worth it. And don't forget to keep your armor repaired. That's a big one. But use restoration and destruction to help you out with areas you have problems with. So if you can disarm someone, don't get disintegrate armor, or don't get disintegrate weapon spells, because you're disarming everyone, right? Pretty simple. If your character's a little too slow, fortify their speed. If they get knocked down and you're still learning how to dodge, fortify agility. You really use destruction and restoration to complement how you play the game. Heavy armor, make sure you got a decent set of heavy armor on. Eventually you'll get good at it. To level that heavy armor up, Really, you should wear light armor in the beginning, and then focus on heavy armor, you know, while you're using that light armor. That way you can still dodge attacks. And that's really it for this episode, guys. Um, this has been another how-to guide, how to make a boxer in Oblivion. Hand-to-hand, -hand, I think, isn't explored nearly as much as it should. And I think it's a cool skill. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, because I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I might be making the next tutorial that you suggested because, well, I can.